A sea turtle paddles with its webbed feet underwater. Text reads, For some turtles, surviving underwater means breathing not with their mouths, but with a surprising body part. A dark-haired woman speaks to the camera in front of shelving stacked high with jars of animal specimens. Caption reads, Ashwini Mohan, museum scientist. Many species of turtles breathe through their bum. This is also called cloacal respiration. In an animation, a turtle is floating under sea and takes in water through its bottom and absorbs oxygen. And in freshwater turtles that are present in colder parts of the world, they need to hibernate and be inactive for long periods of time. They intake water through their cloacal orifice, and once it goes in there, you have different organs that actually exchange gas and intake the oxygen into the body. This is, of course, relatively very inefficient compared to how we normally respire, but it's a very nice backup system where they don't spend energy respiring. A turtle is sitting motionless as small fish swim around it. Turtles are also ectotherms or cold-blooded animals, so you can imagine in the winter they would be as cold as the water that they are in. Their metabolism slows down in the winter, so they eat very little and also they breathe very, very slowly. A sea turtle swims underwater. A woman with glasses speaks to the camera in the same room. Well, that gives a whole new meaning to take a deep breath. If you want to find out more about our video and hear more from Ashwini, check out this video here. She points at the top right corner. If you enjoyed watching, tell us in the comments and remember to like and subscribe so you can keep up to date with all of our latest videos. The video credits displayed on a narrow semi-opaque black rectangle on the left-hand side. Film, Karma Hawks. Science, Ashwini Mohan. Research, Alison Sheen. Archive, Shutterstock. Music, Audio Network. On the right-hand side, the Natural History Museum logo, consisting of the words Natural History Museum, displayed in a column flanked by a large letter N on the left. Text at the bottom reads, Copyright owned by the trustees of the Natural History Museum, London.